if I was gonna do a psychological profile on myself, I would say he is way brainwashed to be Christian, but he's not, but he's a free thinker. And if there's anything I know about this guy, it's that Chuck Weaver, Dr. Chuck Weaver, he, he's the guy who, he's a, psych, he's a psychologist who um, came up with the theory of flashbulb memory, <clears throat> which is um, that your memory for 9-11 is not as um, high quality as you think. Because everyone um, thinks that memory um, is perfect. If you have, a, 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 on 9-11 I was walking out of my classroom and I looked and, 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 someone, and someone said to me, oh, America's been attacked, they, 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 they're flying planes into the World Trade Center. And then I went to my next classroom and I saw it. And then everyone knows exactly all the details because memory like that is very specific. And um, or, or memory like that is very perfect. And in reality, it's not perfect. And Chuck Weaver kind of proved that by um, doing, he, he, he got lucky and he um, did a memory test on these people for like the next time you went home to see your roommate. And then next thing you know, the Gulf War broke out and we hadn't been in a war for a long time since, what, like um, since Vietnam War that, that I know of. Um, yeah, the Gulf War was, was definitely before Kosovo. So, and Kosovo was, I remember Kosovo. Uh, like when we bombed Kosovo, because it, it used to be a big deal when our military bombed people. So Chuck Weaver basically like compared people's tes like memories of seeing their roommate that day because they had to write it down, and um, the memory of the flashbulb memory that they assumed they would remember, and it turned out that everyone pretty much mem remembered seeing their roommate in this specific situation in which they remembered it more because um, it was more distinct because like they wrote it down and um, they 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 uh, were trying to remember it. Um, but, all right, so one thing you learn from um, Dr. Weaver is that um, memory is very malleable, and um, that's why uh, I contacted Elizabeth Loftus, who is not a Harvard person. And by the way, um, I feel like um, Harvard is a, a conspiracy. And what do I mean by that? It means that we kind of coded Harvard, like everything that they believe, everything that they teach, and then we also, because we, we wanted to code it for people with certain per personalities. You're the smartest and you're, like, you're, you're the highest achiever. Here, go to Harvard. And then when you get there, you're not gonna know and you're gonna trust these people and we want to make sure you're extremely indo indoctrinated. I do believe that we create um, different colleges um, so that different people will be different ways. And I think Harvard is basically a nightmare that took over the entire United States. But that doesn't mean, as uh, Steven Pinker, who w will psychologically profile me in a lot more practical kind of way, it, it doesn't mean that, like as he would say, it doesn't mean that I assume everyone from Harvard is the same way. Obviously, Bill Gates went to Harvard for a little while, and I have incredible respect for that guy. And Steven Pinker teaches there. And there, I can't think of who else teaches there, but um, a lot of people. D did Peter Singer teach there? Um, he's, he's an animal psychology guy, not, not animal, animal psychology, he's an animal food expert. He's like a food expert in general, like uh, on like factory farms and stuff. Um, I don't know. There are a lot of people that um, taught at Harvard that I respect, um, but generally I think that um, we have created these tests for people, and I still think they, they rigged my SAT test. My IQ test, I'm not sure. If there's anything I know about um, any test is if it's timed, and I can hack your brain, you will suck. That's just reality. There is nothing you can do if you're in a time test environment and I can hack your brain, I don't want you to do good. It doesn't matter if you're the smartest person ever. Um, all right, so memory is malleable. A long time ago, people used to think they had repressed memories and I couldn't remember, and then these people would come out with like, they'd go to a psychiatrist, like Freud, <laughs> basically, and they would say, hey, can you help me remember, um, what, what's that, why, why, can you help me figure out why I hate myself, why I wanna commit suicide or something? And they'll say, sure. And then the psychiatrist will put ideas in their head, you've been molested by your father or something. So all these people were coming forward, accusing their fathers of molesting them. Turned out, they weren't, that wasn't true, they were, fabricated memories. They were, because your, your memory is malleable. And if there's anything someone can constantly get told, it's that Jeffrey Epstein is the most evil man in the world. And if Jeffrey Epstein, Epstein is the most evil man in the world and I was a prostitute and I slept with him, I'm entitled to millions of dollars. Because, like I said, the dictatorship of the Harvard Law School or whoever, I don't know if Eliza over there in New York knows who created that law that they were trying to bust Epstein with. They created this law so that women can sue men for like uh, sexual misconduct. like. 
like 50 years in the future, almost. I don't even know. And um, it's basically, all you have to do is say that someone molested you and then you can sue them. And it turns out, this, if you ever slept with prostitutes, you're, you're entire, you're, I guarantee you, there will be a line of prostitutes someday because that's how people are. If you're a prostitute, you're that way. If you're a politician who begs for money, you're that way. And so all I'm saying, if you're a Harvard guy who's a politician that begs for money, you're that way. And I'm sorry, but... We very like, especially if you're a Harvard Christian, like there's nothing that exists like a Harvard Christian, like no offense, but I mean, come on, dude. So does my psychological profile say that I hate Christians? Definitely not true. Like not at all because they're nice. Um, but my psycholo psychological profile says that if you're a stupid Harvard person, that's a Christian that is like has an agenda that is political based on Christianity. And that's the main reason you love Christianity. I, I, hear, I, hear, I hear Donald Trump Jr is suddenly Christian now because he has joined the Republican Party. So now this guy is like actually deciding, he, he was like, I, I was just getting in touch with my faith. No, I swear to God, for the first time in Donald Trump Jr.'s life, he believes in Jesus. Turns out Jesus smokes cigarettes and I think Donald Trump Jr. might be one of the only Republicans that are okay with that. But the real problem is Jesus isn't mean enough. And I'm just saying like, if someone sues me or say, say, say I make this, make a video, this video right here. And I post, like I advertise for your business in my video on act. Like, and there was, there were, I, I, there was no creative comment, but I was like, I need to make sure that I advertise for this business. Um, and, and then shouldn't I be able to do that if I'm talking about them? Well, you would think so, but apparently you can take my entire profit from video. So you could be a millionaire just by me, by, by me being nice to you. And if you're a millionaire by me being nice to you versus like me buying a stock photo for $20, how much did, did that photo cost to use? 20 bucks. Um, or I don't even know, like even if it's like 200 bucks or I don't even know how, like I guess it depends on the amount of views, but I'm not sure. Like, cause it's a, it's a picture in a, it, where I'm talking, not you. Um, I'm just saying like, that's the kind of thing that I, I apparently am not being communicated with about because I'm not allowed to know my own financial situation. My, own, my I'm not allowed to know m what my business decisions are based on because my uh, YouTube videos are not being censored. All right, so all I'm saying is um, I think Steven Pinker understands that I'm actually part of multiple tribes. Um, and until you understand my tribes are not your tribes, like you'll, you'll never understand my tribes. And... Um, I think that a lot of people want everyone to be part of tribe me because I'm so smart and I'm a psychologist. I went to Harvard. I'm so smart. I promise. I, I think the psychologists are probably actually smarter than that usually. But if there's anything I can never see is this guy's psychological profile of me. That's like, I feel like the, I felt for a long time. They, I think they thought I was secretly gay, but I was raised Christian because I lived in a gay neighborhood, but I also lived a block from Wrigley Field. So I, I, I also grew up going to the Dodger. I mean, I grew up as a baseball person. So if there's anywhere a person can live is a block from Wrigley Field next to the lake in Chicago. And then like uh, there's a psychological profile that says this guy is um, secretly gay and he doesn't even know it, and, but he's not sleeping with men. He's only sleeping with women. And it's, I mean, I'm just saying like, these people are constantly confused. And um, I think it's because they don't understand that I am not hateful. Like, I just don't care. Like, I don't care if trans people are in my community. I don't care if I'm surrounded by gay people. Gay people are clean. They're good at haircuts. They're nice. They, they, they are into whatever's new. They might, they want to tell you about the new play that's on, that, that is coming out in town. You can go see it. Like, I'm telling you, they, they're like into the culture. So, um, this whole, like, he's gay because he doesn't care is like, I, I'm sorry, but maybe you care and maybe you're, biases are messing up your psychological profile me and that's that's my theory about the entire fbi is you guys are all fucked up in the head because you've been brainwashed by your educations because the smartest people probably went to harvard but hopefully you guys got some people that are like stanford but even then you never really know because people are brainwashed by their knowledge that they're the smartest their entire life and if there's anything i'm not brainwashed by is by my knowledge that i'm the smartest because if there's anything i know is i'm you will like never it, like, because there's no way that there's a, there's not someone smarter than me, but not as brave. Because in my life, you have no idea like the the bravery that's required to um, get to the point that I'm at now.